This is our third annual uh, LLS Jazz Brunch here at Cafe Fresco. Um, we, uh, my wife and I became involved, <laughs> became involved about uh, three, four years ago um, when a, a good friend of my wife's uh, was diagnosed with uh, third stage non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and um, struck my wife pretty hard, so she wanted to uh, she wanted to do her part and get involved, and, and, and this is kind of how uh, we ended up doing that. Um, my wife uh, ran and, and won for uh, Woman of the Year in 2015. Um, yeah! I'd also like to recognize uh, quite a few others in the room here. We've got uh, Nicole Antos, who was a candidate uh, last year. We've got... Uh, we got Paul Condon back there, who was a candidate for Man of the Year this year. That that uh, that starts in a couple weeks, right? Um, we've got the current and reigning reigning Student of the Year, Kaylee Rensel in attendance today. Thank you. And of course, we've got uh, Renee Krebs, former Woman of the Year, and, and David Pepka, former Man of the Year. So it's nice that uh, all these people are in attendance. And we, well, did I forget somebody? Oh yeah, there's this guy. This guy, in case you didn't see that truck parked out front, Matt Flinchball, uh, the current reigning man of the year who raised uh, an amazing one, $375,000, I think it was. We call him the show off. 308. 308, okay. 308,000, but that's it. Um, he was fourth nationwide, I believe, correct? Very nice. So thank you all for coming. Um, I'm going to hand it over now to uh, Annabelle Krebs. She is currently running for student of the year here, and she's a student at Cohen Valley High School. And she's going to talk to you a little bit as well and tell you about some of the things we're doing to, to raise money today for Lucky Little Fun Society. Thank you again. How about a round of applause for Jimmy Bryant and all the freshmen staff? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm Annabelle Krebs. I'm a freshman at Cumberland Valley High School. Um, what I've been doing for the past six weeks is I've been trying to raise $50,000 to fund a research grant for a little boy named William. Uh, currently, William isn't doing so well. He had to go down to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and get his T-cells frozen, and now he's on a six-month waiting list. So I'm trying everything I can to raise $50,000 to get the research grant for William. So uh, any every penny counts. So um, I just want to thank you all for coming again, and I'm going to now introduce David Pepka, uh, 2013 Man of the Year and three-time cancer survivor. Uh, I had the pleasure to meet some of you, uh, to do some sleight of hand for some of you uh, before uh, before we got the program started. Uh, I also want to thank Brian and Jen and their chef Travis. Uh, how about if Travis could hear us? How about a big hand for Travis and his staff in the back? Travis, Travis. Okay. How about a hand for Dawson here because he's cute. If anyone knows his grandfather, he's a lot cuter than he is. <laughs> um, I was diagnosed in uh, in 2009 with uh, stage two uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma, and um, fought for six months, beat it. It came back again. I uh, fought again, beat it again. It came back again. So third time's a charm, hopefully. Uh, during my journey, I've met this uh, beautiful woman uh, right in front of me here, Renee Krebs. Uh, I refer to her as my LLS wife. Uh, we've become very close, and. Uh, her daughter Annabelle, I think it's amazing, uh, wanted to do this on her own. When I found out she was going to do this, Renee did not talk her into it. She didn't suggest it. Annabelle came up with this idea completely on her own, which I think Annabelle needs a round of applause for that. Awesome. For her to get want to get involved, she's seen what her mother and other people have done over the last few years, wanting to raise funds. Uh, I'm living proof that uh, the donations to LS work. Uh, the drug called Rituxan which is a very expensive drug. You don't ever want to hear that you have to pay for this. This is a very, very expensive drug. Uh, it was funded through LLS research that money was raised at events like this. So I'm living proof that um, your donations to LLS really, really count because Rituxan has saved my life twice. So um, we have some other, uh, on your way out, we invite you to stop at this table over here. Uh, any donation you make of $10 or more Hopefully more. Uh, you get one of these great T-shirts that says uh, "I am saving lives," uh, the LS Student Series. Uh, we have some really, really cute cookies that were made uh, by a friend of Annabelle. Oh, we have model one. Yeah, hold up on those T-shirts, Annabelle. Look at that. Isn't it cute? 
Um, we also have a chance to win a, a really awesome uh, laptop computer. And we have, uh, what the work, we're, this is gonna end in less than a week, this ends on Thursday, the student series. The student series ends at the same time the Man and Woman of the Year kicks off, and that's next Thursday. So we're sort of in the home, uh, home, the home stretch here to try and raise, uh, hit that $50,000 goal for, uh, for uh, William that we mentioned. Um, we have one more event coming up uh, Sunday over at the Chipotle. Uh, they make those great big burritos. Over, way over on the Carlisle Pike. The one that's right across from the uh, ABC Bowling Center on the Carlisle Pike. We're going to be there. What time is that? 5 to 9. From 5 to 9 tomorrow night. Um, anything, if you come in and uh, we have flyers you can take out or just get on your phone, uh, Annabelle gets 50% of the proceeds to her campaign. So 50% of that, so come and buy like four or five burritos and just have them for lunch at work all week. Uh, seriously, they think that'd be fantastic. Um, thank all of you for coming out. I'm, I'm just Annabelle, curious right here, I don't want to find anyone's personal life, but cancer is so prevalent. How many people in here, either themselves or someone in their family uh, is either survival or they lost someone to cancer? I want to show of hands really quick. And then one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Yeah, you see how important this is. The neat thing about the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, the research that they do, it all filters down. Blood cancer, the way the research works, it all filters down. So their research uh, filters down and it affects solid tumor cancers. Breast cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer, it all filters down. So uh, this is where it starts. We, we thank everyone for coming out. Uh, we thank you for your support. Stop and see Annabelle and the girls here at the table on your way out. And you're trying to take the microphone. Are you telling me I'm talking too much? You want to say something else? See, girl never wants to talk. She wants to say something else. Right now, you want to say something else now? Read that or later. Okay. Um, Monday night, come out to Flinchies and Jen will be bartending. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh. yeah. What time? What time? Back in order. From 6 to 9. 6 to 9. From 6 to 9, yes. Very good. And uh, we, we, we did have uh, another special guest who was supposed to be here today. Could not make it. Uh, the boy of the year uh, a few years ago when Renee and I were running, uh, a great young man named Nick. Uh, Nick has the flu right now, uh, but he's, he should be fine. Uh, so we we're, we're gonna have a survivor's toast, but uh, tell you what, in, in honor of all those people we, that you raised your hand for, anyway, if you've got a glass of just raise your glass and let's have a toast to all those who are fighting, all those who we fight for, and all those who we've lost to cancer right now, and let's hope that within our lifetime, we can put an end to this. Cheers, and thank you all for coming. Enjoy your brunch. <laughs>